youth, they feel that they are still youth, just like me as well. Don't ask my age, mahala tak tahu. Okay, and I'm happy and uh, to see na appreciate ko ang ating mga youth singers today. Nakita na ko they are so dasik, especially sa ating nakita ang video presentation. Dasik din natin youth. I hope that would continue until Jesus comes. And if you can have in mind our theme song gani ha, ang say title sa ating theme song? Arise and Shine For. I forgot kung kalusan na siya na na compose sa atong composer. Can say composer? It's not me. You know? I see you. Okay, I'm If you know uh, Randy Balinto. Okay. So Randy Balinto is also a nurse uh, at Tiligan City. Pero taga diri siya anak ni uh, Sister Lita Balinto. Nga na sa Capitol Creek. Yeah, the picture I love you. When he asked me to edit his work, so I edited it until the finalized the whole work. Then they uh, in a range store at uh, another little uh, he produced niya. Pero yung ginagamit natin is not him singing. It's another video cover. Hindi lang siya na sing. Okay. And now ang atong topic na to is good time to make it this very uh, quick is on. Important roles of Adventist church musicians. Do you know who are our church musicians? Can you know church musicians? Do you know it all? Can you start with God? Then the change of one. No, don't count me. Can you know the musicians in church? Three. But who are the ones that are here? Are they church musicians? Church members. Ah, church members. Oh, who are the church members? That's it. Itong mga mahilig mukanta, mukhatag sa ilahang gasa, talento para sa atong ginawa. You know, okay. Atong nga identify na sila, huwag talawa ng ilahang roles. Di ilang roles, but important roles. Ilang mga katungganan diri sa atong Eglasya B.A. Adventist Church. Ako yung specified yun nga Adventist. Kaya taghan kayo yung mga church musicians. Bisa na sa YouTube, bisa na sa tabo. Pumili ng mga kanta sa ilang mga kanta at mga kanta ho, no? If you are not aware of that, ang ilang mga songs atong ginakanta po dito sa church, where ang atong general conference will like, advise na to, to copy their song or to use their song. Okay. Now, our scripture is based on 2 Chronicles 5 verse 13. The trumpeters and musicians join in unison. When we say unison, kung saan ay siya buto sa board? Di ang akong, ang akong inspires din na, di rin? Pero ba rin sabi, hindi nga ako ng mga anta. Sige, ang sato, ang unison. Unison means one sound. The word beauty is a Latin word. Ang son is a French word, means sound. One sound or one voice, shall we say. So, ang trumpeters daw and musicians, mga singers and other instrumentalists, nag-join together to give praise and thanks to the Lord. So, sa Bible tags pa lang, naano nang ingat ng mga ideal. Accompanied by the numerous trumpet symbols and other instruments, the singers raise their voices in praise to the Lord and sang, "He is good; His love endures forever." So, ang temple sa dino ang iyang simbahan kulo jud sa iyang himaya. Okay. Now, ato kipinfine sa ang musician. Kung sa niyong mga musician, kini sa ni sila. A musician is a person who makes music. By the profession, or especially he performs good quality music. Any person, whether professional or not, pero na siya'y abilidad sa music. How about ang church musician? Ito, musician na to, general term. This one, ang musician yun na as a church. Ito, may identify. A person who renders musical parts in church services. Ito, ganyan mga nangantagan niya. Introduction number, na festival music. They are also called church musician in general. A person who leads out the musical parts. So, kung nang mo gudumala siya sa mga parts, like congregational singing. So, she's also a church musician. Then, pwede po siya a graduate of music degree. Mula din na nga, is a required graduate. It's just defined as can. So, pwede siya a graduate. Kung hindi na yung graduate, hindi na yung church musician. Then, maayon niya siya tingo, pero hindi siya graduate of music. 
Okay. Ay, no, ay dito naman yung sila ng music kay Basi Mahurot atong mga sinakubugas. Ayaw na lang. Basta kay naara ka din simbahan, nata ibasa, we can become church musician. Then can be a music ministry leader. So, ikaw ang ministro sa music sa simbahan. Okay, can be a member of church music groups like Inspires, Grace Notes, Kasi mga mga group, mga group na mukha tayo pwede siya. They are called church musicians. Then, he is also an experienced music performer or leader. Okay? The musically talented church member, a volunteer. When you say volunteer, you just submit yourself to that particular service. No, nag-volunteer na ka. Wala ka di viral. Kaya ang sunod na is a paid or salaried personnel. So in other churches, to sa Gawas, binabayaran dyan ang mga musicians. Dili lang sa Philippines, kay Pinato Ramagot ka, sina, ihatag lang yung kang panalingan na nalilig ka sa Dino. No? Okay. <laughs> Many times na ako naingan na, I can't, I can't count anymore. Panalingan na sa Dino, mong hago, bilar-bilar sa gabi, kaya kung kwarta yung pag-igasto, tapos ang ending, you did not get any pay or any in return. No, we said family five. But I don't count those because God shall provide when you did it wholeheartedly. Okay, and the last is a mus musician who dedicates all or at least some of his professional life. Adiba? He said, not work, not a professional work, but work which is a church. Okay, now let's continue. What are now the important roles of Adventist church musicians? The first, I only have three. The first is, let us read together. Yes, as music ministers. They are called right hand of the minister. Ganun man may mo right hand? Sige, sige. So, hindi. 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 Saba. Ganta, ganta. O, di ba? Alam, listen po ang pastor na magkanta, ang pastor na po magsunidin, ang pastor na po mag-intermission, ang pastor na magtanan. So, na-joy, birahon ang pastor. Yan din ang birahon because without music in our church, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Okay. Now, listen to you. The first being music ministers in the church is to edify the church. Simply to say, it is to teach the church. Now in 1 Corinthians 14 verse 26, when we come together, matang ko sa daw na ito, na ay, alam mo ito, na ay him, na ay word of instruction, na ay something to teach, then na ay can reveal, like for example, the flesh is the inoon and is it to share. Then what else? A tongue, dapat na inoon is share, and then, or an interpretation of something from our scripture. Everything must be done so that the church may be what? Built up. Meaning we are building the church to become stronger. Okay. Then meaning, whatever you have, you say na nato, your goal is to build up the church, but not to divide. Okay. Then in Colossians 3 verse 16, let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as we teach each other. Okay. Then with all of those, we say to God with gratitude in our hearts when we come together. That is it. Now, the second one is to avoid performance and entertainment styles. Give the mind doubt that we avoid performance and entertainment styles. Kung sa man ang tawag aning performance? Duhama na. Performance. Now, kung nakadiri, you're actually performing your service to God and to the church. Now, when you say performance, literally, mura na siya ka ng, imagine na daw na nasa Ibulaga, nasa GMA, nasa concert halls. Then, yung ba atong simbahan, na ay lightings nila, na ay mga unso na lang ang mga effects, then pag sulod si pastor, mag smoke effects na yun. What do you think? Kung nga natong worship, is there an environment of holiness or secularity? What do you think? Then, what else? Performance daw. So, ikaw mo singer mo lang. I have to sing with all my might. Para magkita ko mo. So, when you sing, The Lord of the Lord, so tender, touch my love, and suddenly, the light has a million for me. So, pag umansang, kanta mo sa congregation, Wow! Kapit, tubi ako, wait! 
So saan man ito ng church? Nag-worship or nag-dayag ka sa atong isig ka tao? Kim sa atong dayagon ilig worship? Ang ginoon. O dayagon sa tao, ang tao ang ginoon sa mag-selos. Remember, it's in the Ten Commandments. God is a jealous God. So ayaw, Jude. So when you are a performer here, oh no, shall we say, when you are a talent giver or talent offerer, make sure na pag-perform or pag-render ng civil service, di ikaw na yung doon. Makadayik sa ginoon mo sila because you rendered it wholeheartedly and humbly. Ingo na alin, what? When we come to our pulpit daw, magdumot daw ang ulo niya, ano what? Come to the pulpit humbly na nagpaubos while praying. Dili nga ka ng pagsulod. Now, so, um, how about entertainment styles? Entertainment styles, kung doon entertain, entertain, no? Numalingaw ang congregation. So when you sing, ano dyan, dapat malingaw. Then when you play the piano, dapat, wow, no? So, we avoid an entertainment style. Because when we come to church, we are not going to be entertained. Dapat mo accept ta sa mensahe. Dili nga i-entertain ta sa kinsay mo tinlog dire. It's not it. We are all worshippers of God. So, dapat ta nang ta nag-dumo, nagpaubos. No? Kasi dili kita ang importante ang ng time sa worship. It's God Himself. Okay. Now, let's continue. Some musicians put too much emphasis on their musicianship. Kaya hindi naman ka yung kanta, so ako dyan yung tarong-tarong yun, no? Arang nga, ma-preserve ang akong dignidad nga nindutit ko o pino. Or graduate ko o music degree, no? Okay, something like that. Naibaw mga tayo nga na. Then, they put themselves on the spotlight. Parang sila na ang bidaan ng natay. Pag tindog nila, wow, hindi ka yung creation. No? Paghawa, saba na tayo, pagkibaya at doon. Okay, let's proceed. They are trapped. Kanito silang mga musicians. They're trapped sila on focusing on the artistic aspect. Sa artistic aspect na sa pagkanta. So, they did not consider ang worship. Okay, so, uh, letter B. The entertainment is present everywhere. In most aspects of life. So, now it's entertainment. Sa itong cell phone, entertainment. Sa itong balay, entertainment. Then, we even include or incorporate entertainment in worship. Okay, hindi nga ako sa balay na TV, na video kahan, silingan. Pag ang simbahan, ano ako na ako? Na ako video kahan ng simbahan? Na ako TV? Na ako mga ina ng mga entertainment? So, let it not be included in our church services. Let us read all together. 1 Corinthians 10.31 whether you, therefore you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Okay. Next. Ayan. Look at that. It's actually um, an image of singer in the church. Pero na sila sa isa ka hall. No, bako kayo hall with all the lights, with all the electric guitars, synthesizers, and everything. Then, Ingon, the Warren, and David Worthy. I just got it from the internet. Let us read all together. Start. When ministry becomes performance, then the sanctuary becomes a theater. What is a theater? Shall we say sinihan? Or shall we say performance uh, hall? No? Concert hall. Then let's continue. Read. The congregation becomes an audience. When we are in the church, are we audience? We are all worshippers or participants of Worship. You are not audience. You are not only listening to whatever is presented here. You are absorbing everything. We are absorbing the message. We accept everything and we worship God. So we are not audience. Don't call the congregation audience. Basically, they, they are audience because they can listen. But the specific term is congregation or active congregation worshipers. Okay, then let's continue reading. Worship, start. Worship becomes entertainment. What else? And man's applause and approval become the measure of success. So, upusok yung pakpak. What do you think? What? 
po kahit pagka-perform. Pag hinayal lang tayo, pero kita po, di ba ng pangpak, mo amen ng tao. Hinayal ka amen, ang sabog-sabog. Luya. No? Luya, wala na, na, wala na dasig, wala na kakuan. Pero ingat po sa uban, wala siya ka-amen, kaya nga naman, nag-meditate. Okay, let us continue reading. But, start. But when ministry is for the glory of God, His presence moves into the sanctuary. Even the unsaved visitor will fall down on his face, worship God, and confess that God is among us. So, what we call that unsaved visitor, what is the more visitor na today na Adventist siya, pero wala siya fully na convinced of God's spirit. So, magpakasala ni Hapon, pag-desimba, pakasala ni Hapon. So, nahimu siyang saved because he participated in the worship and na-experience niya ang unsaman, ministry of music na for the glory of God. Okay, that is it. Now, the third one being music ministers is to witness. Nasabot mo ang talang to witness. Now, in Ellen White's writings, song is one of the most effective means of impressing spiritual truth upon the heart. That is why mag-crusade, ay kanta. Aron ang mga kanta, masagdan sa mga non-believers. Yun yung ato, pauban sa iglesia. Then, hindi buwan pupunta sa mga sa mga nagsakit, maon sa mga nagsakit. Maulian, marilid, no? Kasi giawitan. So that's why song is also a vital instrument in ministering and to the evangelism and uh, doing some other charity works. Okay, the second one. Is that the one?